Recording by Phil Chenevere. The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. Bro Rabbit and the Tar Baby. In Lovemteen Hundred and Full of Fleas, when they raised such a crop of goober peas, the creatures was all des as chummy as you please. They raced and they wrestled, they jumped and they played, and there wasn't nothing tall for to make em fraid. They had the parties, both dar and here, with May pop puddin' and simmon beer, and the way they keep the force of Julys was in eatin' goobers and fresh tater pies. And there wasn't no doubt, and no perhaps, that they helped one another out with the craps. And they had the frolics in the fall, when they scorted Miss Meadows to the ball, with sachet ladies and balance all, they had mighty little for to set em back, good health and good craps, but what they lack was good clean water when the branch run dry, cause the river was muddy when low or high. They mought a got a well by selling corn, but the man what dug them ain't been born. So they rocked along from day to day, and hold the corn and saved the hay. When the sun held its own up in the sky, and a long drought come and the branch run dry, Mr. Fox and Mr. Wolf looked like they'd die, and all the creatures was in the same fix, seppin old Brer Rabbit with his irritatin' tricks. He went his way, and he had his fun, if the branch was dry or if it run. He loped along with his lippity clips, a wigglin' his nose and a workin' his lips. And his morning drink was all as new. It was sweet gum sap and honey dew. The kind what you find in the heart of a flower, or the poplar leaf, if you'll wait for the hour, and watch for the moonshine's sweetenin' shower. But the other creatures ain't cotched the knack. They was dull as walkin' to mill and back. They never took notice how the birds can sing, how the black bees zooms when he's on the wing, how the stars swing round, how the flowers smell, and they dodge from thunder with well, well, well. They wished mighty strong that the cants was coulds, twill the day Mr. Fox got back from the woods. He come back, he did, and says he, by jing, you can believe me or not, but I done found the spring and I feel like cutting the pigeon wing, and it runs so clean and it runs so clear that it do like it's whispering in your ear. With its goo goo goody and its goo goo good, it's way over yonder in the chicken pink wood, and the creatures all, they was happy mon, they trot and they gallop and then they run. With a tippy tip and a long time swing to where they can see the googling spring. Well, the spring was dar at the head of the dreen, where the Columbus shook its flags a-green, and the cat-tails tried for to make a screen, and the creatures all laugh, and then they squeal, and they hopped all round on toe and heel. Bro Rabbit, he asked, what's the hullabaloo? And they answer back, it's a spring for true. Then old Bro Rabbit took another chaw, er his tobacker, and he work his jaw, and sniff the air and shed his eyes, and fling back his head and look mighty wise. Now the spring had been dar since the flood, but one fine morning twas full of mud, and old Brer Rabbit he chawed his cud, and atter dat twarn't never clear, and there warn't no goo for the creatures to hear. Twas mud in the morning and mud at night. Tain't no use er talkin' dat mud was a sight. Mr. Fox, as the finder, watched over the spring, and he tried to discover what kinder thing was a stirrin' up mud before night and day, and he watched and he wait twill he had his way. And one fine morning he found some tracks, and he shook his head, I'm tellin' you the facts, and he went off and got him some shoemaker's wax, and pitch and rosin and din and dour, he mold him a baby out of the tar, with leg and body and head and hand, and it looked like it's settin' dar playin' in the sand. And he hide hisself whar he can see, whomsoever gwine to happen to the tar baby, de tar baby o, oh, de tar baby o, oh. and then he hide and lay mighty low. 
Brer Rabbit, he skipped long at last, he skipped sort of slow, then he skipped kind of fast, cause he used the spring as a looking glass, and he see the tar baby sitting dar. Good morning, sir, and how's your ma? And how does your corporosity seem to sagashuate? says he. And where's your manners? You must be deaf. You hear if I hit you and you lose your breath. Brer Rabbit, he wait. Wit, to be show. Tar baby, say nothing. Mr. Fox, lay low. You better tell me, howdy. You better make your bow. No trouble to show you if you done her how. Uh, maybe you is keen for to get in a row. Good morning. This morning I'll ask you once more. Tar baby, say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Brer Rabbit, he stomp his foot on the ground. You a mighty stuck up, but I'll fetch you down. You see this hand? Well, I'll hit you a blip that'll split you open from hat to hip. What ain't you, man, and war did you grow? Tar Baby say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Brer Rabbit made a pass at him for the luck, and he hauled off and hit him in the eye, could chuck and tried to jump away, but the hand done stuck. Turn me loose, you villain, or I'll hit you again. I'll give you a joke that'll cave you in. Brer Rabbit drawed back. I'll try you for pluck, and biffed him again, and the other hand stuck. You see this foot? I'll give you a kick that'll land you down yonder close to old Nick. Just turn me loose, and I'll let you go. Tar Baby say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Brer Rabbit hit the ground with his foot and say, You'll be sorry you pestered with me this day. So just turn me loose and go on away. Then he up with his foot and kicked him blam. I'll lay I'll show you this who I am. But the foot done stuck. Will you let me go? Tar Baby say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Then Brer Rabbit feel like he bout to get vexed, cause he specked every minute would be the next, and he monstrous sorry that it was so. Tar Baby say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Well, the other foot stuck, and out of that, Brer Rabbit he grinned like a chessy cat. If you don't turn me loose, I'll butt you flat. I'll scatter your brains, I'll ruin you show. Tar Baby say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Brer Rabbit, he butted as hard as he could, and his head it stuck, let him do what he would, and the tar baby held him hard and fast, and it looked like his time done come at last. Mr. Fox sauntered out from his hiding place with a blood-red smile running across his face. He scraped his foot, and then he bow, he licked his chops, and then he low, Hi to do, bro rabbit, how you feel no how. With a throbbing heart and a shaking knee, bro rabbit was scared as scared could be. You were mighty stuck up, Mr. Fox, he say, and I'm surprised to see it at this time of day. He walked around. Here's a gooba shell. I can scarcely believe it. Well, well, well. He pulled off his coat and rolled up his sleeves. Now I gwan to show you just what I believes. And he grinned again, the grin that was red, and he opened his mouth for to let it spread, twell he show all the tushes in his head. He grabbed Brer Rabbit by the leg, and you ought to hear that creature beg. Mr. Fox, he say, what I'm going to do is to pay you before for the old and the new. Oh, you needn't to talk. I know you're nice. But you fool me once, and you fool me twice. You steal my goobers, and then you fling a whole pile of mud right in that spring. But I got you now, and yo hide I'll stretch. I'll learn you something, you trifling wretch. I'll give you the old-time buckra tetch. I skin you alive, I drown you dead. I break your neck, I'll crack your head. I will wallop you till I make you think. I'm the patter roller, you wall-eyed slink. Brer Rabbit sniffle, and then he say, I know mighty well you have your way. You may drown me, sir, if it's your desires, but please don't fling me in the briars. 
De tar was so rank dat de bruh rabbit sneeze, but he still was a shakin' in de knees, and he keep on a wimplin', please, sir, please. Oh, yes, I'll please, Mr. Fox, he say, and I'll please myself this very day. You mayn't be mine, but I think you is, and I'm sure going to bake you twill you sizz. I'll kindle the brush heap and fling you in, and I'll lay that old cook and crisp yo skin. Brer Rabbit, he say, Does fetch on your fires, but please don't fling me in the briars. Brer Fox, he study and rub his chin. He rub it once, and he rub it again. And he wunk one eye and grin a grin. I'll hang you high and maybe higher, and I'll fling you in the big quagmire. Do this as you please, Brer Rabbit cry, and I'll ask no reason for which or why. You can drown me deep, you can hang me high, and I'll not tear one drap from my eye. You can hamstring me with red-hot wires, but please, oh, please keep me out of the briars. Mr. Fox, he took him at his word, and sunned him sailing like a bird, as if he was feathered instead of furred. Right sprang in the briars, growing dar, as thick every bit as the thickest har. Brer Rabbit, he holler, I ain't got a scratch. I was bred and born in the briar patch. You flung me in and lift the latch. Oh, one fine morning when day was dawning, I was bred and born in the briar patch. End of Brer Rabbit and the Tar Baby